this way we're on the uh, the middle 
of land and this one is in the middle so what looks like front yard that's paved is actually a road going to connect the rest of the houses this is a road running right through your front yard because if you go down here on a point crisp road which is such an odd street name that's where this house is and you can see us all these other houses and they are like feet away from the road i guess it's not a big deal if like the only other people going down this road are your very very wealthy neighbors but i wonder if this is like gated in any way to keep the plebeians out doesn't really look like it doesn't really look like it at all so this home is just under 14 million dollars it's six bedrooms it's seven thousand square feet and that whole bit i guess is just over an acre um so this one is definitely a single family home that looks like it let's go inside point crisp drive <laughs> i'm still laughing at the name why is there a chair like directly in front of the front door like i, I take it we're not using this door because it would unless it opens out you're just gonna walk right into this chair um there's two these were not these were not it guys these are not entry chairs you don't have enough space for a grand entry oh, oh my gosh the columns <laughs> wow wow i mean the fact that you look straight through onto the ocean is pretty nice but i personally like detest columns and homes it's so over the top it's so grandiose I find it really tacky especially when it's a Corinthian style which I find the tackiest of all column styles Doric Ionic Corinthian Doric is just like a plain column with like a flat top Ionic is like a scrolled think classic Greek column they've got scrolls on the side and Corinthian is the flowered look like this um they're just <laughs> oh wait is this like a movie theater room right here in the end <laughs> what theme is this room i am baffled what is happening this is just a really odd i feel like this is usually where the office would be you usually have an office right by your front door a movie theater is wild grand piano i wonder if anyone ever plays that piano a mirror that's three times my height wow it's uh it's something shall we go down this corridor stairs oh here's the office with i mean I love these like office slidey rolly ladders but is it just me or does this office really not need it like this is, seems really impractical there's only the only thing is like just a couple things up here that would be difficult to reach I don't know this just seems pretentious I still want it so badly like how many bookworms out there wouldn't kill to have that like floor to ceiling bookshelves and you have to get on the ladder and then you push off and you go like this like your bell and beauty and the beast you're like 
like the family members and all that have been blurred because so often they are not this looks like very typical Florida living room Peacock. 
steel chairs in the middle. <laughs> okay, another pretty bedroom. I don't know if I love or hate these little window seats. They look like they're maybe faded from getting so much light. But it's kind of cute. If it weren't like really hot sitting there, it would be nice to read. The gold is too much for me. Yeah, I just feel like, oh, this is very, very similar to that one with the purple and the window seat. This window seat's a little better. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There tends to be a theme between the really rich people homes, and as I said in the last video, they're either rich people beach homes or they're rich people mountain homes. And I think, because like I said, I grew up a Florida girl with the beach, and, um, <laughs> uh, you know, always in a bathing suit, always in and out of the water. I could swim before I could walk. Like, um, that was my childhood. Um, that I think I lean into liking the mountain aesthetic more. I like the cold now, and I like snow, although I haven't seen too much of it. You know, I like that, whereas I think there's people who are from the cold, more mountainous regions that are still like, <gasps> beach, and like, they would love this. I think you like the opposite of what you're used to. Not always, I'm not saying that's like 100% true. Again, okay, we've come across the, this is the primary suite, we've got his and hers closets. This is peak 90s, 2000s Florida bathroom with the rich people bathroom with the like frosted ocean life glass. Wow. It's, it's something. It's something. This house is triggering my fight or flight. Access. It's very nice. 
I think of as being small lots. Wow, this is really nice little like yoga studio workout room. It's really cute. This, I, I think I like this guest house more than I like the main house. It's really cute. Oh, that is stunning. Why couldn't we have 3D door to this? Give me the guest house. I don't care about the main house. This whole area is gorgeous. Oh, outdoor pool shower. Fun. Oh my gosh. A little like sit in eatery. or anything. 
weird looking coffee table it doesn't look very practical <laughs> I love that I love that giant swing thing that looks so fun and then there's a house all the way over there what's that? What? whoa it's like a little infinity pool
fascinating. I feel like I'd never see that. Yeah, whoever decorated it had like a really fun, kind of eclectic style. The kitchen is, wow, gorgeous. That is a dream kitchen. That's stunning. Really simple, clean, white quartz, white cabinets, wood, wood island. Loads of, of space, giant sink, natural light. This was the eye bleach house I needed. And I kind of love when they do these little windows. Like, I don't know, they're just really cool. Yeah, this is a stunning kitchen to me. It's definitely my type. And right into the really nice big laundry room. This makes much more sense. This is a family that does their own laundry. I think. I don't know. Maybe they hire someone to help. I don't know. But this is like a laundry room that would be nice to use. I think these are child safety locks. So, yeah, seems like it's a family with kids, so maybe they have a nanny to help them out. Um, cot beds, walk-in, pantry, really nice. I feel like the pantry is almost dying out, or it's just like not popular. When I was house hunting, pretty much no house had a pantry. They all had just like a cabinet next to the fridge. That would be where you keep your stuff. And I was like, I want a pantry. Like one of those walk-in ones would be killer, but no one had them. Yeah. It's, this is a gorgeous house. It's fun, light, and bright, while simultaneously being quite vibrant. Oh, the wine room. And this with that view. Like, I like how there's clearly loads of houses there, but the way this is tiered, you don't really see them. Like, you just see the sky. It's... Okay, now you can see them, but it's so gorgeous. My kind of home office view. I don't know what that means, but we'll click on that later. Oh, here's a very... Okay, this is perhaps too much going on in the powder room. <laughs> it's a lot. I can kind of respect it, that it's fun and it's vibrant, but maybe like just one accent wall I would have preferred. It was funny, this is such an expensive home. This is a really, really cheap soap dispenser. I know this 
giant, really long um, bedside tables. I'm looking for something kind of similar. I don't love this particular style, but I like how long they are because I my room is kind of like this and that I've got two windows flanking my bed. So whatever bedside table I want to get has to be under that height. So I'm looking for like lower, so maybe longer so I have more room. Because right now I have like $20 Ikea cheap side tables. They've got zero storage. It's just like a little table with four posters. They are black, which doesn't really match any vibe I have going on. So I'd love something like this where I could store all my books and like um, charging cables because everything's sitting out there and I don't like it. I don't like it. This is turning to me talking about how I want to decorate my house. I love this rug. I love that. That is so fun. Where did they get that? I want that. It's <laughs> really fun. Oh, and I like this mirror. That's really fun too. I think I just, I just would get along with whoever decorated this house. Let's be friends. <laughs> with the plantation shutters, it's a, it's a nice bathroom. It's a very nice. Any mirrors in the toilet room? <gasps> Look at that. No mirrors. What is this though? Is this storage? Is this like a, um, like a linen closet? I guess I don't see any closets in here. There's just like under cabinet storage. So maybe it is. Wow. I think these are like the bougiest closets. The ones that have little doors to like keep the clothes from getting dusty or anything. It is so bougie. But I kind of love it. It's a really, really nice closet. I mean, it's a really nice house. This house is gorgeous. And I'm wondering what you think. Maybe you don't like it as much as me and you're like, why are you raving so much about this house? I'd love to know if you don't like it as much. Oh, this is so cute. This is such a comfy like room for kids. There's a coffee maker in here. What? I love this like huge push comes to shove you could sleep on it and I think that's a trundle bed looks like that is a trundle pull out so I feel like you could fit like four kids in this bedroom how cute little closet and bathroom it's very nice We've got two more bedrooms, looks like. Oh, that's weird. I wonder if this was like a home gym or something. Originally. Not a lot of bedrooms have a full wall of floor-to-ceiling mirrors. You know? Like that. That's what I'm talking about. Not like, this is like what I have in my shower. It's like a little indent and it doesn't fit my really tall Costco size conditioner that I get. So, I put it in the cheap $5 Target soap dispenser. And one more bedroom in here. Oh, I kind of like this wallpaper too. They've made much better wallpaper decisions than the previous California house. Yeah, this is, uh, this is my style home for sure. I'm confused about the layout though because uh, it looks like this, but okay, so I'm getting, this was the closet for sure. Um, and the laundry room definitely had a door to it. But then there was something like here, and I thought it would connect, but it clearly doesn't connect with this. Uh, was there a door? There is a door here. Maybe it leads to that, or maybe that's just a closet. But it did say office view. It's a separate matterboard. Oh my gosh. It's a separate one. So it's an office. It's a nice office. So that's <laughs> okay. So this is next to the um, garage, 
Yeah. 
closet. Um, how do I, how do I get to, oh, the stairs. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the stairs, but it's, um, it's interesting that on the main floor, the, at the entrance floor of the home, there's no living areas. It's all bedrooms. Okay, I'm gonna go down. Let's see where, and I love this chandelier hanging all the way down. It's really pretty. Okay, so the bottom level is the living area, and it's, uh, it's very nice. It's very modern, except for this weird, well, I guess it's kind of modern, too. It's, uh, it's a very interesting painting. So, this is the kitchen. Kitchen is super, super modern and very, like, minimalist. Not much of an impact in the home. Really nice views. Wow. Wow. Look what's happening there. Can I go out there? The views are stunning. We have a pool. We have these beautiful little eating areas. I wanted to go over there. This is a very, very nice home. Okay, we have a bathroom here. Yep. Just a little powder room. Don't know what's through there. Oh, this is another level. Oh, and look here. This is where we enter the beneath. Oh, wow. And it's a little jungle. How beautiful. Look at all these potted plants. And this is stunning. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I love how overgrown it is. A, a nice manicured lawn and garden is nice, but I also really love an overgrown wild look. Like when you let a plant like this penguin just kind of take over and go crazy. It's just so beautiful. It's like controlled chaos. I would be nervous about being, I know I see a lot of steel rebar and all that, but like, there's a car there. <laughs> I don't want to stand under it. <laughs> that old gym. One of those things that flips you upside down for some reason. Oh, oh, okay, I've gone down the stairs. Whoa, I like that, that's cool. Kind of feels like that treadmill's out of place, <laughs> like it should be in the little gym laundry room, an actual laundry room. Nice. This is such a nice touch. The, um, recessed lighting. I used to be a person that was like, recessed lighting is so unnecessary. You know how I was about the under counter lighting? But now I see it and I'm like, ooh, nice. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be that way about the under counter lighting too. Whoa. Oh, they've got a PS5. <laughs> yeah, another thing they have that I don't. I actually don't want a PS5. I'm like a PC player anyways. I think you guys know. Soak it in, everybody.
gorgeous view. Let's see the whole, wow, look at that, it's like a tower. It's a tower of house. Is this, okay, this is where you come out here on the other side. So that was the Cypress house. It is uh, quite stunning. Quite stunning, but very different from the others in terms of, like I said, just like how tightly packed everything is in there. Like, no wasting space. So, what do you think? What did you think of this home? I like it. It's interesting. And you can watch the cruise ships go by. It's uh, situated in the most sought-after location near an ancient archaeological site of Limassol. Interesting. Four-floor villa. Harmoniously combines timeless classic style and modern features. Yes, that was clear. Clever use of space, including hidden televisions and unique carpentry to create seamless corridors and concealed storage. I feel like some of that was maybe, like, didn't come through in the 3D tour. Where were these hidden televisions? Uh, are they gonna maybe show us? Let's see. I 
there's no screen as far as I can see. There must be though, because that's way too small. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, another stair. Um, did we miss anything? It looks like in here there is a uh, entrance to the lounge and another huge office slash living room in here. Now this is where you could have one of those rolly ladders because I imagine most people like come up to here or here, I don't know, hard to say how tall. The ceilings look really tall though. But I don't know, it, I think it suits this giant tall room better than that little office that we saw it in. Okay, and then we have the incredible primary suite on the end. I mean, look at how, look, look how gorgeous this is. I kind of just want to go all the way to the hallway. It's just really pretty over there. Oh, and there's a little gym over here. Just really nice. Sometimes I wonder, I'm like, oh, and the sauna. I'm like, if I had a home gym like this, would I like working out more? I don't like working out. But mainly because I work out in my living room. I just like, I follow little um, like cardio uh, exercises and stuff. I put them up on my tablet and I put that on the couch. And then I just kind of work out uh, on my rug in my living room in front of the couch. And all three of my animals, my pets, are like, whoa, we're having fun in the living room. Yeah. And Leia. <laughs> Of you sits right next to me and is like, and Pippin sits in between my feet. And so, like, say I'm doing jumping jacks, I'm like doing jumping jacks like around him. Or if I'm doing something where I'm like squatting down, I'll have to like pet them as I squat down. I'm like, pet up, pet up, pet. So, every single day, my workout turns into pet the animals, <laughs> play with the animals. Or they decide all our toys that are in the living room, we're gonna play with those right now. We weren't playing with them five minutes ago, but we're gonna play now that you're here. Or if I have shorts on that have like a drawstring and I'm like in a plank on the floor, Pippin will be like, time to play with the drawstring. So yeah, I can't tell you how many times like Every time I work out, it turns into play with the cats and the dog. Or the best things when the cats get distracted by the person on the tablet working out and they sit directly in front of it so I can no longer see what's happening. So if I had a private gym, maybe I would like it more. So here's the primary bedroom. Closet. Closet. Huge closet. This bedroom though guys. Whoa. That is a bedroom. Look at this fireplace. It's really stunning. And I love these windows. It almost looks like a horse pasture. <laughs> um, it's just I think this is just a really gorgeous bedroom. The bathroom is fascinating. This is the shower, which uh feels pretty small compared to the rest of the bathroom. Like, here is the sinks and they're kind of pushed up, curving against the wall. I don't know, it's like sinks, don't care about them. Shower, don't care about them. Bath, that's what we care about. <laughs> Look at this. Like, all of this is just for the bath. All this space. Don't get me wrong, it is stunning. This is, uh, yeah, I'm speechless. Like, look at these windows. You would feel like royalty bathing in this bathroom, I think. And then over here, the toilet is just, like, shoved into one of these, <laughs> like, in there. But yeah, it just, like, it's crazy. Like, there's so much space here. And then, tidy little shower over there. <laughs> Real 
So